Hello, this is the Narrative and Interpretations Part 2 Instructor's Introduction. All right, so we're going to start off Part 2 with a really lovely video that just has a bunch of great photographs that use the power of photography, composition, content, all throughout history. So take a few minutes, sit back, and enjoy the six-minute video. And here's a link that might be helpful again just to get you inspired looking at different photographers who use this idea of narrative photo series. And these are conceptual photographers, so they might be interpreting, um, it might not be a linear typical story, it might be a little bit more abstract or from their own personal interpretation. So you might want to check out this link. So for this week, um, we're going to continue to look at some of the really amazing National Geographic photographers, focusing on this concept of the power of photography. So I've collected five different photographers' work that you'll want to watch all... Two, three. Yep, five. Just recounted them. I was like, is there six? Um, so you're going to want to watch all of these, and then in a minute I'll go over um, the homework that's connected to taking the time to learn about these different photojournalists and why they're using photography to communicate the messages that they're interested in communicating. So watch all of those, and I, I think you'll find them to be very inspiring and really interesting as to the different ways that photography's traveled Photographers travel to different parts of the world, for example, um, North Korea, and or just looking at how we perceive our the own reflection of ourselves and the concept of diversity. This is that same list that was in um, Narrative and Interpretation Part 1. So I'm just reinforcing the ease of navigating all these really cool links. So if you click on... For example, Judy Cope's work, she's an artist from the list, and you can just get a sense of her work. She's really looking at all the different ways that cultures interpret the idea of beauty, and then through her own personal interpretation, also recognizing these ideas of beauty from not only a photojournalistic perspective, but also from her own personal interpretation of beauty. So she's someone that you could look at when you're navigating this list of really amazing photographers. And then there's also a really awesome video where she talks about what is beauty that you can check out if you're interested in learning more about her work and her ideas. So these are all great links that take you to websites so you can further look at the work by these different photographers that I've included for you in this learning unit. A bunch of helpful links that you might want to check out. And then here's where you'll be presenting your final series in the Narrative Photo Series Part 2. So still, I'd, I'd encourage you to watch this video. I kind of go over the prompts and give you a few suggestions of how you might want to respond to the various prompts and then also to your classmates' posts. And then finally, there's a two-minute video that you're going to want to watch where I go over the homework requirements for the power of photography, focusing on those five National Geographic videos. And you're going to pick one of them. You can listen to this video and then respond to these prompts. So I hope you enjoy the information in the second part of this learning unit for, um, for this class. Thank you.